week seven pickups. Bum, 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 bum. You too, boss. It go in the go downs is. Back with week seven pickums. We're here every Tuesday night picking every NFL game every single week. I'm here with my guys. My guys, how you doing? Good, good. How are you, my guy? Let me tell you something. The slate of games this week is epic. We're all is repping our, we're all repping our teams. There, there, is, there, there is epic. You guys see, we're all repping our teams. <laughs> oh, we got Bears, Vikings. Vols. I mean, Vols. Vols. Yeah, he's not a Titans guy. Not a Titans guy. The Vols almost. Should change the logo. Just, just, just change the Vols it all. Just change the Vols until yeah, they lose I'm to Bama done. this week. I'm I have them beating Bama. Bold, done. but uh, there's your leaderboard down here. Here's the Subs League leaderboard down here. The week six winner was Rohit Perswani. What a name. Badass name. He had, a per- up for that. he had a perfect week. Clap it up for wow. that. Three guys in that league had a perfect week. And there was a tiebreaker. You, you predict a score or a total. He won the tiebreaker. His picks in this week's video. So if you join that league, pin in the comments. If you join it, the weekly winner will be in the next video. Let's get on in. In Let's or out. We're going to get in those picks. Here we are with the Broncos at the Saints. Sean Payton revenge game. Bo Nix for how much a wrench. Spencer Yo, Rattler. Yeah, Bo Nix for Spencer Rattler on Thursday night football. A lot of injuries in this one that makes it tough to pick. Both receivers for the Saints, Chris Olave, Rashid Shahid, who's going to play. Doesn't sound great for either right now. And you have multiple injuries across the offensive line and defense as well. But the Broncos have a big one with Patrick Sertan, arguably the best corner in football. He is also dealing with the concussion. This game's so soon. It's on Thursday. Tough to pick because Real tough. I'm going with the uh, with the Broncos for Dan. Uh, for Dan, yeah, he told me, gave me some insider insider scoops. He said go with the Broncos this week. I know they're on the road. Scoops. Altitude's not a factor. Uh, but it's Spencer like better on the road this year. Yeah. To be honest with you, I'm going to go with the Broncos as well. Pete's taking the Broncos. The two receivers being out. I know Sertan's out, but it's probably going to be out. But I just think. Um, I don't know how the Saints are going to do it with, without the lack of weapons with Spencer Rattler back there. Yeah, that's my thing. The Coes. I hate when there's this many injuries because I need to know if they have a receiver playing. When I probably s- not. I mean, it's Thursday. It's a Thursday game, and it sounds like Shahid's going to be out at least a week. And you know, concussions you can't you can't just come back from that, especially on a short week. They're both out. You think they're both out? Man, when I saw this game on the schedule, I was thinking Saints. Unless, unless you're Michael Pittman and you have just super, super powers all of a sudden, like, oh, he's going to go on IR, and then the next day he's like, no, I'm suiting up, and he's a super powers. Wow. <laughs> I was originally going with the Saints because, you know, defensive game, prime time in New Orleans, you know, both quarterbacks probably going to struggle through the air in a game like this against really good defense. It's going to come down to who can run the ball better, and I definitely trust the Saints running game. More than the Broncos. Kamara getting going in this game. So I was leaning with the Saints, and I was quite confident with that. If they don't have Alave or Shahid, though, they got no weapons to throw to. I know the run game's the main factor. Mm, Sean Payton should be able to game plan against Dennis Allen's defense. If both Saints receivers are out, they're going to be out. I think I have to go Broncos. But when I saw this on the schedule, I'm like, the Saints are going to win this game. They're going to snap out of that losing streak because Kamara's going to really get going. He still could get going. But, man, I do think that defense still has a big day against uh, – you know what? I'm going to stay low scoring game. I'm going to stay here for now. I'm going to stay here. Let's see how those receivers are doing. I have my score predictions tomorrow with picks against the spread. I'll have more you info. You know what? Yeller's going to join you. Yell or nothing. I hate it not having a final pick in this video. And then but the to injuries decide it, Pastrami's got the Saints as well. Nice. Perswani. Uh, after a beast I said. week. Nice little icon there, too. He's, nice. feel, he's feeling the Saints, you said? Yeah. What a joker. All right, we got more what guys in the Saints. But, man, if both those receivers are out, they don't really have – Taysom Hill's going to be back, though. I think Taysom Hill's going to be back. He's He was limited today, if I'm not mistaken. He's questionable for the game. That might be some broken ribs or something. That's, that guy's a beast. He's been out for a, a little beast. bit. Camara, Taysom Hill on the ground. And the Broncos' run defense was so bad last year, but it's been really good so far this year. I don't know They're if I'm fine. I don't know if I'm fully trusting it though in a game like this. I think the Saints' run run offense, rush offense, gets going. 
I think we're talking too much about this. Yeah, Broncos season. it's a tough one. It's a good it's one. It's gonna be a thirteen to twelve ball. Yeah, game. bet the Ooh. under. That's my best take there. I gotta monitor the receivers for the Saints. Pete's the injury expert. He thinks they're both out. He's probably unless, right. Unless they have Michael Pittman. Unless oh yeah, uh, yeah, do they have Michael Pittman blood? We got to do the research on that. Get the graphics guy on that. Oh, the oh, London game, the Patriots game. and the Jags <laughs> in London. Shit bowl. That's actually what Yeller said. He said it's the shit bowl, and he's taking the Jags in the shit bowl. So we'll get Yeller started with a nice take there. Love that Drake Mays in there, but <clears throat> and they are going to see a lot of man coverage, and I predictable. And, you know, the, the, the Patriots receivers. They did some damage against the Texans. You know, it's a good it's not, defense. It's not, it's not the greatest unit either, but. I'm gonna go with the Jags just because they're at London. They're they're in London again. You know they're they're acclimated to to it now. They got there late. I like those Patriots corners though. I, I think, think it's a do or die here for the Jags. Mm-hmm. Um, they just traded Roy Roberts and Harris. They're already getting. They're already yeah, giving up. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Jags though. Mm. I'm also taking the Jags. Man, this is tough. I was originally gonna go Jags because and Rowett Rowett's going with the Jags as well. Do I just loan? Am I? Do it. I might be drinking a little bit of too much of Drake okay. May's Kool Aid. Wait. Whoa. What I say? That <laughs> that's not how I meant it. Uh, that's weird. Yikes. That's not how I meant it. All right. Can we re- should we restart? What colors no, all right. Kool Aid? Uh, Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is getting out of control. <laughs> is it red for those Patriots unis they're wearing last week? Kendrick that, Bourne that. came back last week. Small percentage of snow. You're right. Or is it yellow? Yep, He's drinking, drinking some of that Kool Aid. No, I'm good. Um, or, is, or is it yellow? <laughs> <laughs> Lemon lime. Sorry. All right, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> Cracking myself up. Give me the Patriots. Oh, oh, oh dog it. Drinking that Drake. You drink, I, you're drinking Drake May's Kool Aid. <laughs> I am. I'm a big Drake May guy, so maybe I'm a little bit too much, in, you know, too deep in that Kool Aid. I don't know. <laughs> too deep. Um, but. Man, he, word he, had some, right he had some turnovers last week, but it, one was a little <laughs> fluky. Dude, and it was against the control. Texans' defense. The Jags' defense, is, they, have the, they have the 32nd-ranked pass defense. If the Jags start running more zone, they're going to win this game. They might do it. But I think Drake May, you know, those, all, you were high on you were high, you were in the the Jags. I don't even know the coordinator's name. Defense Nielsen, coordinator. You were all over his. He Kool-Aid. was good with the foul. I was all in that. <laughs> all in his Kool Aid. Um, he his stinks over there. I think they're giving up. I mean, I wasn't gonna pick them because they're in London again. Cisco's not giving up. All right. Yeah. You I, gotta pick. And, when are the Patriots going to London? This is key information that I need right now. When it's so hard to find that out until they actually leave. When are they going to London? I don't know. This are they there? They should be. Jags are already there waiting for them. That gives them a major advantage. We're spending way too much time on this game. Like this game is just It's terrible. just so tough to pick these games. I don't these tough there's I want to keep this lead, but this is tough. Uh all right. All righty. Okay. Okay. Seahawks Ooh. and Falcons. This should be a shootout offensive game here. Seahawks should get the offense going again. The Falcons' offense has been getting going. The defense hasn't been hasn't been that great though for either team really. Uh, I mean, I could see this game going either way. I think Kenneth Walker has a huge game for Seattle, but in Atlanta, Kirk Cousins keeps rolling. Give me the Falcons. When you say Atlanta, you put an N before the T. Atlanta. I say Atlanta. Yeah. Atlanta. <laughs> Atlanta. Atlanta. There you At- go. Atlanta. At because, Atlanta. because it's Atlanta, I'm going with Atlanta. That's yeah, the big thing. If it was in Seattle, I maybe I would go with, with uh, Seattle. Going with the <laughs> Atlanta Falcons. Yeah, same here. Atlanta going with the Falcons, Falcons at home. Uh, high scoring. Bet the over on this one. Bet the over. High high Everyone's got the Falcons. Oh, in this nobody one. Seahawks. I could I could see it. Even the pastrami joke. Even pastrami. Wow. It's Even per. Just- it's Perswani. Hopefully, we're pronouncing that right. I know somebody's not, but or maybe multiple. I don't know. I don't know what everyone's saying right now. This is a already a wacky episode, but it's wacky. We're gonna keep trucking along here. See, Ooh. okay, well, all right, all right. Well, okay. We do a Let's go. Uh, and we're gonna Let's put go. the right, right, right there, yep. and uh, there, yep. mm-hmm. and there, mm-hmm. and right there. You might not Dan while we're at it. And Dan, okay. Get but, Dan over there too. We're gonna, put, we're gonna move him up because Dan's mouth, right. Yeah. Nope. No. No. no, no oh, no, definitely. Dan, not. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, there we go. There definitely we go. not. Okay. Uh, 
So, um, Pete, tell us wh- how can the just, Titans win? We're this spending game? way too much just, time. Yeah, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm ready to move on. <laughs> how can they win this game, Pete? I'm done with the Titans. Like, You're I don't not know if you dope. know. I am. I'm not even gonna watch the game. Like, don't do that. Paid Pete. paid for Sunday NFL ticket for nothing. Pete, don't do uh, that. It's actually kind of nice though. On Sunday NFL ticket, you get like the quad box going. Like, I could put I could put multiple. I could put red zone on one on like a quarter of the screen, and I could put. I'm not even gonna put the Titans game on there. I'll put we'll put the, put Fal- the Bears game. We'll put the Falcons game and Seahawks game because I think that one's gonna be interesting. We got some other it's a games. A lot of good games. We got some good week. games coming up that I'm gonna put on there. Um, but I'm just done. I'm just gonna be watching some college football, watching some QB, some QB film uh, for for college. Pete's a huge Carson Beck guy. Yeah, I was watching some Carson Beck. He that's was, a that's a he's making some making some nice throws. Uh, that's la- Titans' this past next week. quarterback. I'm saying it this early. Yeah. Carson Beck, Titans. Titans fans are be like, you know, you're an idiot. That's what they did we're with JC Latham. We're moving on. JC Latham, I'm like, that's the Titans fit. They're like, you're stupid. Talk about them stupid. winning the game. They're not winning the game. All right, okay. Fine. Bengals, Browns, Browns traded Amari Cooper. Defense is playing pretty well though. The Bengals offense really wasn't on last week, but I'm gonna take the Bengals. I think they're they're the playing. Browns is just so funny. Like they're just. They're just screwed with Watson, like this contract. So they're like, they have to play him. It's like they can't do anything about it. They're just like, yeah. We, we Nick get. Chubb probably coming back. Oh, he can run. Still going with the Bengals. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he can run wild though. It's possible. Uh, are you kidding? Are the, you kidding? Jamar are you Chase. Kidding? That's yeah. a big game. And yeah, okay, yeah. You didn't even ask me my pick. Yeah, we. Know are you got, are you taking the Browns? No, I'm not taking. He's, the Browns. he's not taking the Browns. Everybody for the Bengals. So a lot of bad, there's a lot of bad teams this year. Two, bad of Ohio. We went over a lot of bad teams already. Two quick ones there right in a row. Bills, Titans, Bengals, Browns. We're going to get into some really good ones. We might have some We're good. We're some really good picks. Some really good picks here, guys. Let's get in those oh, picks. Oh, Ooh. the Texans and the Packers. White, the white Packers. Packers are wearing those all whites this week. Ooh. Texans only have one loss. Mario Edwards now suspended, but Danico Autry going to come back. Joe Mixon's back. He looked really good that last week. The line's juicing over there. They're juicing up. The Packers at home, a different animal. Yeah. Give me Green Bay as yeah. they're heating up here. I'm, you no, know, the one thing that worries me is uh, the the Packers kicking situation with Narvison over there. They just got McManus. Just oh, like they a, did just like an hour ago. Oh, yeah. I didn't see that. Oh, yeah. give me the Packers here. What? I was I was like really worried. I was like, if this game comes down to like field goals at the end, like I don't know, I'm picking the I mean, Titans. They still might lose. But I know they might still they, they still might lose. But I'm gonna go with the Packers at home. Yeah, this uh, home home field advantage. The difference. For this sure. one, Lam- I mean, you, we saw Green Bay and Lambo last week. It's something. Jordan Love getting better post injury here. They're looking good. Uh, but the Texans are very good as well. But yeah, just feeling the Packers at home. Yeah, give me the give me the Houston Texans. The Houston. Ooh. The Houstons. Uh, I don't know. I just think they're the. I think they're just better. They I, might be. I think they're just better. Simply, oh. simply put. But it's in Lambeau and the yeah, I mean, Packers it's wearing be, all it's white. Be a great one. I can't wait to watch it. You know, I no the, Nico Collins still. Yeah. Is this uh, is this gonna be on your quad box? Hundred percent. All right. Give me or give me. Give me You're already give, on there. Give Yeller <laughs> give Yeller the Texans as well. He's joining. Yeah. I think it's just a Bears fan and a Vikings fan really hopeful that the Packers are gonna lose. And then we got Whoa. uh we got Roquan Smith over here with the Packers. He's changing his name every time, I guess. All right. Rohit on the Packers. Roquan. He was perfect last week, folks. Yeah. Watch out for him. I agree with you. We were agreeing with him He's right here. He's a stinker. He's a stinker. stinker. I still don't know about those first two games. That's pretty bad. I, it's, it's, those are tough. Waiting for injuries. Oh. oh. Dolphins, Colts. Uh, yeah. I'm going to take the Colts. Tua should be back next week, hopefully. Richardson should be playing. Yeah, that kind of hurts them probably in this <laughs> game, uh, to be honest, just to be fair. But, no, he'll be able to run well. If Jonathan – the Colts are going to win. I'm confident with the Colts here. If Jonathan Taylor is back, if he's not – okay, either way, I'm still picking the Colts. I'm not trying to confuse anyone here. But if he's back, I'm going to say double-digit win for the Colts. Ooh. Fairly easy yeah, win the Colts for the Colts. at home. He's taking the Colts at home? Yep, taking the Colts at home. He's taking, we'll I mean, say, I would take them, I think, on the road as well. We'll actually. say something yeah, nice yeah. about Miami. Tua is coming back. I'll be in Miami for a hot three hours on Thursday. Got a connecting flight there. It's going to be – Come it, hang out. <laughs> come hang out. I thought you were telling me to hang out with you. No, no, what uh, the hell are you going to be doing? No, no, I was telling the fans, come find you. 
Miami International. Yeah, he's chilling there for a while, trying to get to the Keys for a wedding. It's going to be interesting watching football while kind of on a mini vacation there and then doing that Sunday night video I'm going to have to do for my phone. God, it's you're going to be, be missing the, the best game. Yeah, it's the Saints, best week. Saints Broncos. Uh, Thursday. On Thursday? I'm not worried about that. Oh. Uh, uh, everyone's got the Colts here. Okay, all right. You can watch it on the plane. Maybe. Get some Weefy. Weefy? We're not gonna, I'm not going to be on the plane during Look at the, the Joker game. fitting right in the shoe there. There it is. Everybody Bleed blue. Everybody Colts. You think when he po- points at the – you think he points at the patch, but he doesn't – he's on the opposite side. There's nothing there. You think it's on purpose, or you think he just, like, the camera is I messing with him? I don't know. Does he do it every question. time? Uh, I don't know. I probably watched like twice. I thought he did it both times, so I don't know. I watched like the first three seconds. And I'm like, all right, I'm not gonna be able to watch I miss this whole him. thing. What? I miss him. You miss him? Mm-hmm. What do you mean you miss him? I'm not able to watch him. Okay. Oh, oh, heavyweight battle number one versus number two in the power rankings. The top of the NFC North, the Lions versus the oh. Vikings in Minnesota. The Lions just shellacked the Cowboys. The Vikings were on a bye. They just traded for Cam Akers a little bit ago. The two years in a row they traded for Cam Akers. Hey, at least they can help them right away. He knows the offense, so that's pretty big. Uh, But this is going to be an absolute battle here for number one in the power rankings, top in the division here. I still don't know who I'm picking. First – the first way I looked at it is you got the Lions rush offense, insane. The Vikings run defense, one of the best in football, number two, if I'm not mistaken, statistically. So who wins that matchup? And I was thinking, I like the Lions running game a little. They're both great. I like the Lions running game a little bit more. But both teams are going to have to throw the ball. And the, and the Vikings pass defense, you can throw on them, but they also take the ball away where the Lions pass defense, a little inconsistent, you can throw on them as well. And now a week after Hutchinson goes down, I think it's tough to kind of recover from that. Uh, and the Vikings have a day through the air and create that extra turnover. I will take Minnesota in a toss-up game. But that Lions, that could be the difference because the Vikings have won a lot of games because they stopped the run like right away and they take the run away. I don't think they're going to take the Lions run away. So the Lions come out and just show them something they haven't seen. Like they give them something they haven't had to deal with, like a dominant running game, and that could be the difference. But they're not going to stop it, and they slow it maybe enough to force them into awkward passing situations. The Vikings win. Justin Jefferson has a huge game, but it's going to be huge. A, it's going to be a tight one, folks. This is so tough. This, this game's tight no matter what. Yeah. I mean, last year when Nick Mullins is that quarterback, those games were tight, both those games at the end of the year. So no matter what, it's going to be a good one. It's just how it goes. Yeah, give me the Vikings at home. Um, I think that – this is going to be – I think they're going to split. I think this is going to be whoever's home kind of has that advantage, and I like the uh, – how you're saying the Vikings are going to get that takeaway, that key takeaway. I like the split as well for this year mainly. I don't know if it's the home field advantage for me. It's not. Oh. It's it's more of the time that they play them. I think right now teams are still like really confused with Brian Flores' scheme, his defense, It's which we're creating turnovers for them. Uh, so I think later in the year, maybe the Lions figure that out. And other teams could figure it out a little bit, but it's still going to be pretty good. But. So tough because Hutchison went down. Yeah, that's a big thing for me, adjusting to life without uh, their but best the Vikings defensive are coming player. off a bye after they were starting hot. They're going to get healthy, though. They're going to get healthy. Hawkinson will just see if he not plays. Play, it doesn't seem like. It's, yeah, this is a so They tough. went with the pass anyways. <sighs> I don't know, guys. P. I like I like the way Jared Goff's playing. He's taking care of the football. I know the Vikings are – Force and turnovers. I'm gonna go with the Lions, though. It's my that's my team here. I'm gonna go with the Lions. Wow. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I just a gut feeling here. Vikings coming off a bye, get their first loss here. Uh, Yeller's got the Vikings. I already got him up there. Oh. <laughs> and uh, and the Hitman, Rohit the Hitman here's got uh Harry Hitman. H- yeah, Harry he's, Hitman? he's got he's got the Lions. Oh, you no, know, he doesn't have Harry Hitman. No. All right, there you have it. A good old-fashioned go. split could go either way. Let's get, let's get one here. Vikings are favored in that game, folks. There's a lot of interesting games this week. Ooh, Ooh. Eagles and Giants. NFC East division battle. A lot of key injuries this one, especially at the tackle position. Jordan Mailata injured, and Andrew Thomas likely going to be out for the years. That's a tough blow for the Giants. Ooh. Then we have Darius Slay injury to monitor. And then you got for the Giants, I would imagine that Malik Neighbors is back. I wouldn't think he misses yeah. a third week from a concussion. But you never know. They want to play it safe with the young star. And Sirianni was Saquon. talking trash to the Browns fans after barely beating them. Yeah, uh, Saquon revenge game here. Mm-hmm. 
I'm taking, I would, the, I'm taking the Eagles. He's taking the Eagles. Jump ahead real quick. He's, ta- he's taking the Eagles. I was pretty confident with this one. Uh, Semi confident when I saw the matchup. Plus, I already knew the Eagles' injuries. I wasn't aware how serious the Andrew Thomas injury was, so that changed things. So, I, as you could tell, I was going with the Giants. I love the way the defensive line is playing. Dexter Lawrence, maybe the best defensive player in football right now. And if Neighbors is coming back, they should be explosive against the the Eagles' defense. And Tracy playing well. Singletary can come back. The Eagles' offense is pretty disappointing right now. And then my lot is out. I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to I'm going to go with the Giants in this game at home. If Neighbors is back. If Neighbors is back, Giants. If he's not Eagles. I'm feeling the Giants at home. Their defensive line is playing insane Good. right now. Give me the Eagles though. Um you know, I think it was first first game back with Devontae Smith and AJ Brown back in there. Um Saquon against his old team like we're already talking about. I like it. Give me the give me the Eagles here. Am I giving it by myself on this one? Yeah, you're going oh. by yourself. Oh, baby. Undefeated on Lone Wolves this year. You got two you got a couple, now. Yeah. You got Am I sticking with the Patriots? I'm still a little iffy on that one. Your Lone Dog's undefeated. Yeah. You're lone all, Dogs are undefeated. You're all in that Kool-Aid. All in it. I like the Giants one. I'm definitely rolling with you're that. Covered Unless, in, you're covered in that Kool-Aid. Unless Neighbors is out, I am not. I'm definitely not going with the Giants if Neighbors is out. But He's got to be back. He's got to be back. You see him on the sidelines with, like, I know what he had on. He didn't. He, he just had no Giants gear on. Yeah, and then they looked at him and said, "What's up, neighbor?" Yeah, he was just sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, well, okay. Feeling good about that lone wolf pick right there. The Patriots one has me scared a little bit. Three o'clock window. Oh, oh baby, Raiders, yeah. Rams. The Rams oh, are going to get a little healthier. They're much better. I'm taking. Even if they weren't healthier, I would be taking, taking the Rams. Taking the Rams. Rams and then, go ramming. Rams go ram. They're Five. one. In, they're one and four. They're one and four. Right. I didn't now. say they've been ram, and I said they're gonna go ram. Okay. Yeah. All right. Fair. I think fair. They get going here. Devontae Adams gone. Not that it matters. He hasn't been playing for the Raiders the last couple of weeks. But all right. Um. Uh, everybody. 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 Everybody for the Rams. Yeah, I think they win that one fairly easily. I want to say. Yeah. Just yeah. A lot right. of teams I'm staying away from the rest of the year, and the Raiders are one of them. Yep. Okay. Yeah, that's a good pick. All right. And there's another team. There's I'm some really st- tough ones. And there's another some... team I'm staying away from for most of the year, depending on the matchups. Panthers can score, though. And the Commanders don't have the best defense. It's getting better. They do not have the best defense. So this uh, this could stay close because the Panthers' ability to score, but I think the Commanders will be uh, will be fine against the Panthers here. Excuse me. I should commanding been. victory. Commanding victory against commanding, the Panthers. Commanding. I get it. Mm-hmm. Commanding. Thanks, Pete. So everybody, we have some quick the ones. Manders this week. going with the Manders. So we got some good now. ones, but we got some just nothing burgers. You know what I mean? Yeah, nothing burgers. Out of the okay, what were the nothing burgers so far? This one, yeah. Titans. You guys just want to keep bringing the Titans. <laughs> Titans, <laughs> Bills. Uh, what else? New England, uh, Cincinnati, Cleveland. That was a nothing burger. I picked New England for now. Uh, uh, whatever. Cincinnati. We're on to Cincinnati. My yeah. point is, who has the best chance to upset out of those? Teams? Oh, the Titans. No, definitely not. Who's Titans. your super dog of the week? Oh, uh, Titans. Um, Browns? what else was quick? Browns. Yeah, maybe the Browns. Maybe the Panthers could score. I don't know. I don't see them winning, but maybe yeah, I don't think the Browns got to go out. right. I don't think the Browns. I, I think it'd probably be the. They're all would be pretty shocking. We'll see. But all right, all right, here we go. Come on. What's, all right, fine, fine, fine. What do we got next? Come on, get get to a game here. Oh, oh shit, shit. <laughs> Chiefs, Super Bowl, Niners, rematch. Super Bowl rematch. Chiefs coming off the bye. They're undefeated. Still, the Niners have been hot and cold a little bit. Uh, the Niners are favored in this game. I was a little surprised about that, even though they're a good enough team to win this game. Maybe they catch the Chiefs sleeping off the bye, but I'm not going to predict it. I'm going to predict the Chiefs to come off very well off the bye here. I don't know if that made sense. Think they're Play all, very they're well always, off the bye. They always do well off the bye. It doesn't matter if they're they're, they're undefeated right now. Niners are very good. They're going to get going even more, especially when they get healthier. They don't have the pass rush they used to have. That's going to be a problem. Mahomes going to have all day to throw. They're probably cooking up some weird things. We saw them use four tight ends at once in the game last time they played against the Saints in prime time. So who knows what they're going to cook, cook up in this game. Mahomes going to have time to throw, and I feel like they will do just enough. That defense is really good, too. The Chiefs defense, very solid. Taking the Chiefs. The Chiefs are never losing a football game again. Never again. All right. Never. Even though 
where she rises out and he's a, Holly, he's a criminal. Did Pete take the Chiefs? Hollywood Did they Brown, already take the Chiefs? Hollywood Browns out. I'm still going with the Chiefs because they just. Is anybody going to do it? Yeah, we got Deller and Oh shit, good. Good for them. That's not here. surprising. Good I just <laughs> Good for them. Good for them. I, mean, I was know. thinking about it, but then I was like, eh, I don't know. The Niners defense doesn't look, you know, as good as it has the past couple of years. The Chiefs just keep winning, finding ways. Mm-hmm. The Chiefs defense is really like the other part of it too. It's not, it's not just like they have Mahomes and like, oh yeah, it's like the defense is ridiculous. Yep. There that's you have it. That's just the Chiefs. You Got know. a full full squad there. Good old fashioned split. That what does that it's mean? Good. It means watch watch the damn it's game. A good one. Watch it. That's on the quad box. It's on the quad box. I mean, that's a three o'clock game. There's not too many three o'clock games. That one might be the only one I Ooh, put on. Honestly. A little defense. Russ Russ gonna get the start. I mean, it's not hundred percent, but it sounds like they're gonna bench Fields. For Russell Wilson. That is just surprising. The Jets played a pretty – it was good but sloppy at the same time and almost beat the Bills on Monday Night Football, but maybe they're heading in the right direction. They have Devontae Adams. Will he play this week? We'll see. All all you got to do is put him out there, and Rodgers will just be like, yeah, I'm going to throw you a back shoulder fade here. Question, question, guys. Uh, So, like, the whole Fields trade, it was like the pick could change based off playing time. Yeah, I, I mean, I think he's still under that, right? Is he, is that why they're benching him? I mean, that's part of it. But I think I think they what was that like? How much playing time was it? Oh yeah, maybe. somebody would have to refresh my memory. Oh I yeah, breaking was, news here. The I Jets. think it was like fifty one percent of the snaps. If I'm, Jets are trading Mike Williams and Hassan Reddick to Costco. In oh, exchange for, I'm grabbing my phone exchange, looking at what happened. <laughs> exchange for the chicken bake <laughs> and the double chocolate chunk. <laughs> I grab my. <laughs> I grab my phone like, what the fuck happened? Got Mike, Mike got Williams him. is going to get shipped out of here because Rodgers had enough of him. It was his fault. Stephon Gilmore intercepted that ball two weeks ago. It was his fault. Both right? teams, defensive game. T.J. Watt might murder Aaron Rodgers, and that could be the difference, but both teams going to rely on the defense in the running game. Combine those two things. I'm going to take the Jets. I'm going to take Brees Hall, that defense, against – no matter what quarterback's in there for the Steelers. But this is Sunday Night Football. The Steelers are home in prime time. Again, can they possibly go 0-2 on Sunday Night Football? I'm going to predict it. I'm going to go with the Jets. I think it's going to be a close one, but I'm going to go yeah. with the Jets too. I Probably think a squeaker. Devontae Adams getting in there. I think they're going to – he's just going to – they'll be fine. Like him and Rodgers will, will gel right away and, and make some plays. And got Garrett Wilson over there who's been stepping it up. And it seems like him and Rodgers are getting on the same page. Yeah, let's get the ball to Brees Hall too. Taking the Jets. He's taking the Jets. Taking the Jets. Oh, snap. The other's got the Jets, but the Joker has got the Steelers. Ooh, good, good one right Put there. Right. He's, he is the Steelers. He's the Steelers this week. The Pittsburgh Joker. He was perfect last week, so Steelers fans, you're looking pretty good right now. But, yeah, it's going to be a squeaker of a game. Squeaker Sunday Night Football. A lot of defense. Like defense? One, defense? You watched that one? Hopefully not as many flags as the last Jets game. Remember which in, was last uh, night. that was f- insane. Remember in the Dark Knight, they wasn't never at the, got was into it, those was movies. Wasn't it at the Steelers Stadium? Or the, it was. Or the the, the the stadium falls like they that set was, off. They set off. So the, you're saying is the Steel- the Joker? The Joker set off. No, the, he wasn't in that one. That was Bane. Oh, it was, Bane. was Bane. Dang was it, Bane. Pete. Dang it. Do your research, Dark Knight Pete. Rises, Pete. Yeah, Two you're right, you're right, Monday you're right, Night right, you're right, you're Football right. Games. Doubleheader on Monday Night Football. We got a good one right here, folks. Ravens, Bucks, some of the best offenses uh, Baker in Mayfield. football. Lamar Jackson and Derrick Henry versus Baker Mayfield and Bucky Irving. Uh, Bucky and uh, Safe Flowers Chris versus Chris Godwin. Godwin and Mike Evans and stuff. stuff. Yeah, I'm taking the Ravens <laughs> on the road here. Uh, Road dogs. These Ravens they're, are. They're favored. They're favored. They're spicy. Road dogs. They're so spicy. <laughs> Wait, who's spicy? The oh, Ravens. yeah. I love love me some Ravens, they're too. They're so spicy. Tractor Cito. Oh, oh, that's my, my guy. Gosh. I mean, can't you, I mean, as a Titans fan, you, you don't really like the Ravens. Cause you just, said you don't like we the just, Titans anymore. We just had. No, yeah, that's true. We're, we're, we're rivals, but. Uh, you know, yeah, I got to be rooting for Tractor Cito. He's just my guy. I was the first to hop on the Ravens this year, picking them myself on primetime football Sunday night in Baltimore. And guess what I'm doing on primetime Monday night football oh, in Tampa? I'm taking idiot. the Bucks 
I'm taking the Bucks. The Ravens are on a hot streak. They're playing a bunch of teams that cannot stop the run to save their lives. Derrick Henry can, don't get me wrong, Derrick Henry can run on anybody, but the Buccaneers, they sure stop the run. They are stout stopping the run with it's Vita. The Ravens. It's not the Ravens run. It's, they haven't seen the Ravens run game yet. Lamar's going to be able to run. It's different. Yeah. That's different. But Derrick Henry, they will, they're not going to stop. They're going to slow down. The Buccaneers will be able to score on the Ravens. That pass the game led by Baker, but those receivers is, good, is very solid. The Ravens' pass defense hasn't been that great this year. I'm taking I love the matchup for the Buccaneers. If the Ravens win, it's not going to be because – Derrick Henry, I don't think it's gonna, it's going to be because if Lamar just ran wild because it's a different style of run that you have to stop, you know, the scrambling quarterback. So that is the key for the Ravens. I hope Jamel Dean plays for this pick. He's hurt right now. Zion McCollum's been playing out of his mind. He got Winfield back for a second game. He didn't play the full snaps last game. So, yeah, that, that, that starting safety duo out there with him and Whitehead right now. The pass defense is pretty bad for the Bucs, but that's the Ravens have been all right passing the ball recently. They've been pretty good. They've been a little sloppy still. They were sloppy against the Commanders, and they still won the game. In Tampa, their run defense slowing down Henry a little bit. That pass offense, give me the Bucs in that one. Y'all just got the Bucs, too. He's Ooh, feeling the Bucs. He loves him some Baker. But we got we got pastrami on our side. Don't worry. Oh, that's the, let's go. This is the game I'm looking forward to most. It's going to be a shootout back and forth. Two good run Let's defenses. Go. That was a long buck. I was thinking. Yeah. I was thinking. It's gonna be, I'm excited. It's getting, it's oh, good. Okay. I, had a, I, was, I was dreaming about it. Dreaming? Really? Yeah. I mean, right. daydreaming just That's now. That's one Monday night game, That's right? one Monday night game. The other Monday night game, Ooh. Chargers, Cardinals. Ooh. Cardinals oh. wearing those. Oh, give me the Cardinals. Oh. Wearing those blacks. Oh, yeah, those are nice. He's taking them. Those are nice. Well, Pete, you convinced me of taking the Cardinals. Oh. That's a great one. I am also taking the <laughs> underdog. The, the underdogs. I want to see if Marvin Harrison Jr. plays, though. He's concurrently. concurrently. He's concurrently. <laughs> in concussion <laughs> protocol. <laughs> Uh, but the game's not till the late window on Monday night there. Uh, so maybe he'll play. But Chargers look really good. They look good against the Broncos. They play really good defense. The Cardinals, you can't figure it out. One week they look pretty good. One week not so much. It seems like every other, so they're due. I looked at their schedule as well, and they've played all of the best offenses in football so far, so that was a tough draw. The Chargers do not have the best offense in football. They could be a little sneaky. Herbert getting going. J.K. Dobbins should have a good game. But they play very well on defense. And the Cardinals do just enough. Chargers very beat up at corner as well. Would like Marvin Harrison to play for me to make this pick. But I'm feeling the Cardinals. They seem to be uh, back and forth. Good, not, not good. Yes, no. I, I think yes. This week in a close game, a squeaker. I'm going Arizona in a squeaker. All right. Geller's got the Chargers bolting up. He's bolting up. He's really yeah. trying to make this come. What about here? Rohit? Uh, Swan Dogs going with the Cardinals. Though. Oh, my God. Lone Dog over there, Yeller. I wasn't expecting I thought I might be Lone Wolf in the Cardinals. I thought I might be Wolf in the Cardinals this Feeling week. Feeling it. I saw the black pop up. I'm like, oh, yeah, here we go. So I don't I'll even take. give a shit about that. I just think they're due, and they're they're not they're, they're finally be, not they're playing be, a good offense, yeah, uh, yeah. great offense. You look good. You feel good. You feel good. You play good. They have quite a few injuries, though, too. But so do the right. Chargers. All right. They got Gannon. A lot, a lot of good ones here. I'm still thinking about those first two. Saints receivers, Dr. Pete says Saints receivers aren't playing. I might have to go Broncos then on that one. Dr. Pete. He's Dr. Pete. Um, <laughs> you got fire in your gut? I, we're not done yet, oh, but again, tomorrow, score predictions, picks against the spread. A friendly reminder, don't forget to subscribe to Notification Down so you don't miss any of it. But we have Pete's yeah! by teams of the week power ranking tier style spe oh. customized this year these tiers are customized oh. just for these teams and that is the bears and the cowboys they oh, kind of have man. something in common so the tiers we have pete's buy team of the week which never uh, no teams ever got that award then the next tier is they can beat good teams these teams they're cap very capable of beating good teams and the next one is maybe can beat good teams question mark and then can't beat good teams and then can't even compete i don't think anyone's going to be down there but can't even compete with the good teams maybe and can we get the Titans up here for that? The Titans? I know they're not in the ball in the bye week. They can't beat week. bad teams. They can't. They should be all the way at the bottom. <laughs> they can't beat anybody. Um, but can't beat anybody. the Cowboys are well known for not being able to beat the good teams. They're kind of known for that. And the Bears are heating up right now. But if you look at every single one of their wins, each team has won 
win. Whoa. So each of them has one win. Whoa. Just stating facts. Just right stating now. facts. They're getting good. They're de- I think they have the best defensive football. I you know they're doing they're doing well out there. They're sneaky, but it's weird. That every single team they beat, Jags, all has Rams, Titans, all one win. Who's that one? Panthers. Panthers. So oh it's boy. a good question for Pete here. Oh. But first, me and Junior pick who wins the bye. Oh, it's easy. You're gonna take the Bears. Taking the Bears. You, did you talk to Dan? Talk to Dan. We're both taking the Bears for our bye week team of the team of the year. Week. Week. Uh <laughs> I'll take the Cowboys. The Bears are streaking right now. The Cowboys need to get those pass rushers back, well, mainly Micah Parsons. Uh, and the, well, I don't know if they're going to get too many other guys. Well, yeah, Eric Hendricks was out last game, but Lawrence and Cooks will not be back yet. But Cowboys need to sit down and think about what they've done after yeah, that last think game. Yeah, what they've done. So I'm going to go with the Cowboys. Pete, you're up. You're the man oh, of man. the hour. This is your show. We just talked about the Bears. I mean, they beat – they beat four one-win teams. Stop it. What do you think, though? Do you, you make a prediction? It. Make a prediction, though. Who they lose to so far? They lost to uh, Colts and Texans. Oh, Colts are not very one-score games, peeps. Keep that in mind. They Texans. got the Commanders next, right? Yeah, they do. And then the yeah, Cardinals I mean, I, I both think, away. I think their offense is getting going. I think the I think basically is what this again, comes down their to. Their defense is going to keep them in ball games. Like they're gonna they're gonna compete with some good teams. I think I think we're putting them right in the middle there. I think they. I want to see them go against some of these. I mean, they're going to go against really good teams. They're, Commanders. They're, they're going to come right to right yeah, away. Yeah, well, and their their division's really good. They got a bunch of good teams in their division. We're going to see how they come out uh, the rest of the year playing their divisional games. The Cowboys. Mm. Let's take back. Let's take a look at the Cowboys here. Like who who have they? They beat the Steelers. The Steelers are. They beat the Browns. They did beat the Browns <laughs> and the Giants. And the Giants. Giants could be frisky. Then the Cowboys are just, oh, they're struggling. They're struggling ever since that, just that embarrassing playoff game uh, from last year. Really bad. Um, I, 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 I'm kind of out on the Cowboys this year, to be honest with you. Like, I don't know. Like, just, I, no, yeah, (laughs) yeah, no, yeah, yeah, put them right, put them right there. I don't know. I think it's tough because Deron Bland's been out. Um, and both pass rushers and, last week. Parsons weekend. was out and Kendricks was out and all that. But the run game does scare me, and then the lack of pass weapons does scare me too. And you know Dak's going to turn the ball over. Like he just does some does some some silly stuff out He's there. Silly. Yeah. Dak's silly. He got away with one on that the beginning of the game. He threw one right. He threw one right over. Someone's head right to the DB, and they called it back for a penalty. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. They they always choke in the playoffs, and right now they're they came and they came and beat a good team. You can't beat a good team in in the regular season. It's it's gonna be tough sledding for the Cowboys here. The NFC East is kind of kind of weak, kind of sus. Commanders. Commanders. I mean, the Giants, I feel like, are better than expected. The though. Giants are doing pretty well. Yeah, Eagles are kind of disappointing. Cowboys are disappointing, though. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm injuries may could get them into that maybe category, but from right now, I'm just not feeling the Cowboys this year. Sorry. All right. Okay. I think uh, McCarthy's done. You guys think he's done after uh, after this year? Yeah. Probably. Finally. Probably. Who do they got calling uh, plays? Who's their offense coordinator? Schottenheimer. I don't know who's got more pull. It's always a mystery who's got more pull yeah. around there with the play calling. Well, with Waldron, all of a sudden, he just seems like he's he's dialing it up. The team sat him down. They said, "Hey, we got to establish a run, buddy. We have to establish a run." Dialing it up. You see that little that the first touchdown to commit? It was like it was nice. fake. It was like fake screen here, and then fake screen here, and then Wide throw open. the throw the tight end right down the middle. That first touchdown though to Keenan Allen was a ball. That was nice. That was back, a beautiful back shoulder throw. up the seam there. Yeah, that was a beautiful throw away from the defender. It's nice when you got a guy like that. You can just you just know he's gonna he's got a good feel and go make that play. Oh yeah, Keenan Allen, it's just a beast. That fourth down, I don't even know why they went for that. That like uh, it was like a fourth and four, fourth and five to Keenan in traffic. That was nice. Oh yeah, I remember that. It was kind of late in the game, and it was like, why? Are... Across the wind, across the middle, a little bit. Across yeah. the pond. It, it was across the pond. It was across the pond. Yeah. It was weird because uh, that corner out ball 
that little little feed that he threw to him in the end zone was nice. Yeah, too. but good, good Komet placement. never had to long snap a punt. I think maybe that's what they were trying to avoid. Yeah. So they just went for it. See, Caleb point. was telling the punter, he's like, he's like, you know, you're not gonna have to punt a lot mm-hmm. when you come here. See, he was telling him. <laughs> They're gonna need a long snapper. <clears throat> is that guy? Is that guy done for? I don't know. It seemed. It. They didn't even say he was like. It was weird. There's like. When did it happen? I didn't even see when. That the happened. first punt. Oh. And then there's like, yeah, he's hurt he's and he right. is out for the game. I think he's gonna be oh. okay. They made it seem so drastic. Defense, though. I mean, even with without uh, Brisker and Stevenson in there, like Gordon got hurt. Who was that guy? There's some. They had some guy there. Was just strapping people up. It was just ridiculous. They were nice. They yeah. was. I I was like, I don't, they literally it's every week it's been at least two turnovers. I think they're at thirteen now in the year, which is kind of crazy. They're just balling out. Bears, those sausage, jags, those Jags. Oof. Do I pick them or do I, Patriots? Jags. I mean, they were. I mean, they dropped how many touchdowns and they. It's not Lawrence's fault. And uh, to start start not. the second half. They hit Evan Ingram for wide open, and he just gets the ball punched out of his hands. Yeah. That okay. That Tremaine Edmonds fumble. Is that a fumble? I thought that was a fumble. Yeah. That's what he he caught it with two. Tucked it. Tucked it. Turned. turned yeah. And then it that's, gets punched. That's out. what they say. Yeah. They, he football, did everything. Football move. Yeah, football he did move. literally everything yeah, thought, in the checklist. I thought that was a fumble. Live, I thought it was a fumble. Replay, I thought it was a fumble. Live, I didn't think Engrams was a fumble. And then as soon as they show the replay, I'm like, oh yeah, that's. Hundred percent. They're gonna call that one fumble. It seemed like it came out. My late. theory, my theory about football is like saying my theory is like teams just have like an identity and it just sticks with them. Like the Bears are just known for their defense and causing turnovers. Like they're always gonna be like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was saying the the uh, the Titans just need to go back to just running the football. Like no matter just, who's there, just yeah, run they're, it. they're just a ground and pound team. And the Browns are just known for browning it up. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Exactly. Hey, the Lions. The Packers are just gifted with quarterbacks every every time, every year. They always have a quarterback. It's not fair. Everyone's got their identities. The Ravens know their identity. They're 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 a ground and pound team as well. The Steelers know their identity. They're just a ground and mm-hmm. ground Events. and pound, just phys- physical team like that. Harbaugh knows his identity. Yeah. Just gotta stick with your, your team's Jim identity. Harbaugh. Can't change it. Well, okay. Any other zingers for us, my guys? I always ask you if there's any zingers. I don't know. I'll put you on the spot. No, no zingers. No either. zingers this week? I haven't had a good zinger in a while. You better get on top of that. You want the chicken bake or the or the double chocolate chunk cookie? Have I had dinner already or no? <laughs> you, no, I, no you, it's, uh, this is like a snack. This is like a oh. it's like a midday snack. <laughs> oh, God. Where you, you're craving a snack, like, like but you're, you're not starving, it's like, but it's you're like three, It's like 3 or 4 o'clock, and you're, and you're craving a Lunch a nice, is done? Yeah, you already had lunch. Like you had a like a noon lunch, and now you just want a a nice snack. I think I'm going double chunk chocolate. Yeah, that's, that's there you have it, folks. Right there, there's your weekly zinger. I wonder how di- like how dippable that is in to milk. Like, is it has some? What do you think Big Justice was gonna go with though? Oh, he's a chicken bake all yeah, the way, chicken. big time. I think he dips it in some uh, nacho cheese sauce. I don't know. That's the most random thing I can think of. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm talking about. I mean, he's big justice for a reason. Yeah. Well, I can't believe those people got that famous. We're talking about him right now in the greatest pick show to ever live. They're well, they're Williams getting shout outs. Got traded for. Well, it's true. Chicken bacon. It's breaking. We're gonna have to see the replay on that. I totally checked my phone. I was in a panic. <laughs> like, holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I got it makes re- it I even got worse. You already saw, said it before we recorded. Yeah, I saw the tweet. I was like, "This is a great tweet." I'm just gonna bring this up. But I, I saw the. It reminded me. I saw the Jets matchup, and I was like, "Oh, here we go." That was so good, Pete. That was good, was stuff. good stuff. Good stuff. Good well, stuff. Okay, that'll wrap it up for this one. Stay tuned for the rest of our weekly content and our rapid fire short. Ooh, spin. that rapid fire short is hot. Meet Riz at Spicy. the airport. Yeah. Somebody um, said they got me on a ride from. Because I mentioned the Key West thing last week, they got me on a ride from Miami to Key West. But I'm like, I got a flight already. And he was like, all oh, bummed out. But it was a Vitor? No, Vitor's a Miami guy. He is a Miami guy. Maybe those Miami guys are just nice guys. Yeah, shouts out for Vitor. Shouts out, Mister uh, 305. Uh, somehow he always gets a shout out every week. I don't know. I mean, it makes he's just sense. the guy. Well, okay, that'll wrap it up. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Goodbye.